Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at the CTIA Wireless and IT Show in the Moscone Center in San Francisco. And we are joined by Prag Shaw of Mobilians. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Can you tell us about your company? Sure. So we're providing a new payment method geared towards younger audience, mainly for online purchases. So customers who want to buy online but don't have credit and debit cards can simply make a transaction using a mobile phone. They don't need to do any registration. Please expand upon that. How does that work? Sure. It's actually very simple and secure, and we've got this proven because our largest backer of our company is Mobilians of Korea that's been doing this for six years. So really it's simple. For a customer, you're online, you want to buy a 99-cent music track, you want to buy a $10 online gaming subscription, you put in your mobile phone number on one of our merchant sites, we do the authorization real time, and it shows up on your mobile bill. It's so that I simple. So basically could be paying things using my cell phone bill. Exactly. So people who don't have credit and debit cards or increasingly people who are afraid to use credit and debit because of fraud and phishing and farming, it's very simple. You just use your mobile phone and you're in and out. Right. Now, you have mentioned um, that this was something that was sort of targeted to a younger demographic. Why have, why have you looked at it that way? Well, younger, skewed younger, but largely between 14 and young 30s. Uh, mainly because many of the categories that we're targeting in the online gaming space, online music, online video, these are the customers that are on those sites right now. And from our merchants, we're looking at items that are largely be lower than $10, where credit and debit cards are not very cost effective for them. And many of those customers are fearful of using credit cards, and so it lines up very well. And so the types of products that um, this particular demographic, for example, would be able to purchase, is there some type of monitoring system there? Because certainly one of the things that having a credit card option means that if the product perhaps is inappropriate for a certain demographic and they don't have a credit card, it's one of those things that kind of weeds them out and has a bit of security there. Sure. So we are absolutely secure from a fraud standpoint, and that's what we've proven from, from Asia. Uh, but also the categories that we go after are in concert with our mobile carrier partners, uh, to offer this service. And so there's certain categories that we wouldn't uh, perhaps go after, like adult entertainment maybe right, one. Right. Um, and we're going after categories where these customers are wanting to purchase uh, online. They're spending a lot of time online, and now they have a very easy way to make the transaction without credit and debit. Can you speak to any of the metrics, for example, as far as um, how much purchasing is done using a mobile phone in North America versus Asia? You mentioned that your parent company, your backing company, was from Korea, right? And we already know that there's certainly different trends. Whether you're in North America or Europe or Asia or South America, and maybe you can enlighten us a little bit about some of the things that you've been learning. Sure. So in Asia, uh, South Korea, Japan, very involved in this, and our comp our backer is uh, the largest provider of this in Korea. We've seen uh, elements of this taking shape in Europe as well. And here in the U.S. now, the, those ingredients are really starting to come together. Uh, we've been talking about mobile payments here for a decade. And uh, over the past 18 months, I'd say those ingredients really now are starting to, to line up. And we're looking at a category for us in the online space. This is a $120 billion category in the U.S. It's the most evolved e-commerce um, economy in the world. And population in the U.S., 300 million strong, there's a large propensity of buyers out there who want to buy things online but don't want to use credit and debit cards or alternative payment methods where you still have to go through a lot of registration or a bunch of hassles, we don't have to do that with this payment service. Right. Is there any difference between um, the, the company that's providing the merchandise? If you're making a purchase through credit or debit, they have a relationship with the credit card company as far as when they actually see the, the transaction going into their bank account. How does it work if it's going on to a phone bill? Are there any differences there, and if that is that a challenge for you? Uh, it has not been a challenge. Uh, we have actually a couple of different models that are proven, uh, again, drawing from Korea. We have a model where we can do a delayed settlement, so once a customer pays with the mobile carrier, and then we'll pay up with the merchant. We also offer a service where we can do instant um, settlement with the merchant, 
we do that in Korea as well. Right. And this is not just for people who have a postpaid wireless bill where they're actually getting an invoice, but also for prepaid customers, which is a large demographic. Again, many of them are unbanked or underbanked, and we can do a real-time decrement off their prepaid right. balance to make these purchases online. Right, fantastic. So, so just in closing, do you have any announcements for the show? Uh, we're basically announcing that we are operationally ready here in the U.S. Uh, we're going after the uh, certain merchants and in active discussions with our mobile carriers. Can I hold you for one second? You bet. <laughs> Excuse me, I felt a clock coming on. I apologize for that. We're going to take that question from the top. Sorry about that, Dan. Um, do you have any announcements for the show? Absolutely. Uh, we're announcing that Mobilians International is operationally ready here in the U.S. Uh, addressing these unmet needs of consumers. We're working actively with many merchants and also in active discussions with prepaid and postpaid wireless carriers, and uh, we're ready for business. Well, that's really exciting. Congratulations. It was definitely a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. We've been speaking with Prag Shah of Mobilians, and we're here at the CTIA Wireless and IT Show, and I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.